It's nice to meet all of you. Um, as we said, my name is Dawn Bennett. I'm curious, how many of you have heard of the unconscious mind? Give me a little hand raise. Great. So for those of you that aren't really familiar about it, let me talk about what it is, just so we understand what we're talking about. The unconscious mind is the part of us that drives us to the grocery store and we get there and we're like, wow, I, I don't even remember how I got here, right? Have you ever done that? You've driven somewhere and been like, oh, I got here safe and I don't even remember the journey. That's the unconscious mind driving you. The unconscious mind also is the one that drives you home when consciously you are trying to drive to the grocery store and all of a sudden you get at home. You're like, how did I get here when I meant to go to the grocery store? Right. That's also the unconscious mind. So when the unconscious mind is doing that with something as simple as driving to the grocery store, what do you think it's doing to you in your business? What do you think it's doing to you in your relationships? What do you think it's doing to you with your goals? Because our unconscious mind really is meant to keep us safe, whatever it defines safe as. And the unconscious mind learns what safety is from the age of seven and earlier. It takes our memories. It takes the things we learned that we observed from our parents, from schooling, from the way we were treated by our siblings. And it uses those as the way to understand our world now. So whatever we learned when we were young, unless we've done healing work around it, is usually how we're patterning now. So let me give you an example. How many of you have found yourself procrastinating before? Right? Yeah. So sometimes procrastinating is just not wanting to do something. But why? Where does that come from? So let me give you an example. I worked with somebody who came in. Their main problem was procrastination, and it was showing up really strongly in their work. So I said, okay, well, what's the problem with procrastinating? So, well, when I procrastinate, I, I don't get new clients. Great. Well, what's the problem with not getting new clients? Well, when I don't get new clients, I don't make money. Okay. So what's the problem with not making money? I mean, we know these are all problems, right? It's not a brain science, but okay. So what's the problem with not making money? Well, if I can't make money, I can't support my family. Okay. So if you can't support your family, what's the problem with that? Well, it means I'm worthless. So now this is actually the core. Our unconscious mind has a belief somewhere that we're worthless. And now everything we're doing in our relationships, in our business, how we're hearing other people, how we're communicating is all around avoiding this worthless feeling. So what I do with people with emotional freedom techniques, tapping with hypnotherapy, I'm a hypnotherapy practitioner and trainer. I do neurolinguistic programming, which means we look at what pictures our brain is looking at and how it uses it to inform ourselves of the world. We change that worthless feeling. We have our brain look at all the ways that we are valuable, all the ways that we provide worth to our clients, to our people, to our relationships. And then all of a sudden, everything becomes easier. So imagine now, instead of procrastinating, your brain looks at all the ways that it's safe to succeed, that it'll be fun when you start doing the thing that you're avoiding. And now everything you're trying to do becomes easy. So instead of changing the behavior, we're changing the belief, which makes all of life become more aligned. So how many of you would like to learn a little bit more about how to do this for yourself at home, right? Good. So what you think the problem is, usually isn't like the example with procrastination. So let me give you another quick example. Have you ever tried cooking something and there was a little something missing? You think, oh, maybe it needs more salt and you add some salt. Like, oh, that's not it. Maybe it needs some oregano and you throw in some oregano. Maybe it needs some basil and you throw in some basil. And next thing you know, you've made everything worse, right? Or maybe you were four and you're coloring and you added yellow and you added red and then you added blue and then you just had this brown blob left over on your, on your thing. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. The brain waves when we're in childhood are the same brain waves we are in hypnotherapy. And so when we say kids absorb things like a sponge, they really do. And we delete, we sort and generalize information. So what I want you to do, what we're gonna play with right now is I want you to think of something that annoys you in your business. 
like just something little, not something like, oh my gosh, everything in the business annoys me. But what's one specific thing that annoys you? Is it opening your email box and seeing hundreds of emails that you have to take care of? Is it that one client that's taking up a whole bunch of your time? So just think of that now. And I want you, if you've got a piece of paper, go ahead and write it down. Write down what annoys you. What specifically? So that one person, that one situation, um, maybe it annoys you that you procrastinate. What are you procrastinating on that annoys you? Write down, be as specific as you can. And I want you to write down if annoyance isn't exactly the right word, maybe it's frustrated, maybe it's irritated, write down what is the actual emotion you think about when you think about that situation. And then just for for fun, give it a rating. Zero meaning it's non-existent, which means you wouldn't have written it down, right? But that's where we're going. All the way up to 10, meaning super intense and overwhelming. And just write it down, write down that number. And now we're going to play with something called emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping. So I'm going to make up an experience and I want you to tap in the same places that I'm tapping, saying the same words that I'm using and just ignore the sheet that you wrote down for now. Are we ready? Okay. So everyone tap on the side of your hand and repeat after me. Even though I feel annoyed. Even though I feel annoyed. Thinking about the person that cut me off in traffic yesterday. I'm open to letting this go. Good. Even though I feel annoyed. Thinking about that person that cut me off in traffic yesterday. I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel annoyed. Thinking about the person that cut me off in traffic yesterday. I deeply and completely accept myself. Great, now you're gonna tap the top of your head. I'm feeling annoyed. Good, and say it out loud if you're not. Then the next spot is between your eyes. I'm feeling annoyed. Good, the next spot is the side of your eyes at the temple. And if you have glasses on, you can tap above or below. I'm feeling annoyed. Good, under the eyes. I'm feeling annoyed. Good, under the noise. I'm so annoyed. Good, under the mouth, between the mouth and the chin. I'm so annoyed. Good, under the collarbones, like where that soft spot is, we're gonna tap both sides or you can tap both sides with one hand if you only have one available. Feeling annoyed. And then next spots, under the arms. Or you can do the same side, doesn't matter. One side, both sides. I'm feeling annoyed. I always tell kids, act like a monkey. Woo! Okay. okay. Good. So take a breath. So this is one round of tapping or of emotional freedom techniques. And this is the full technique I use with people or I teach people how to use on themselves. We're going to do one more round just for the fun of it. Just because I really want you to get an experience of it. But just notice already what's changing in your body, what's changing in your mind. So side of the hand again. Even though I feel frustrated, thinking about the person that cut me off in traffic yesterday, people are so rude. And I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel frustrated, thinking about the person that cut me off in traffic yesterday, I can't believe they weren't paying attention. People are so rude. And I'm open to letting all of this go. And even though I feel frustrated, thinking about the person that cut me off in traffic yesterday, they could have caused an accident. That was really dangerous. It's really frustrating people drive that way. And I accept I feel this way. Good, top of the head, I'm feeling frustrated. Between the eyes, I'm feeling frustrated. Good, side of the eyes, feeling frustrated. 
Under the eyes, I'm feeling frustrated. Under the nose, I'm feeling frustrated. Under the mouth, I'm feeling frustrated. Under the collarbones, I'm feeling frustrated. And under the arms, I'm feeling frustrated. Good, take a breath. Now I want you to look back at that situation that you wrote down or think about it again. And just notice, has the feeling about it changed? Has the level of intensity changed? How many of you had a change in the thing that you wrote about or thought? Yeah, great. Isn't that fun? So this is how the brain works. Right? Is all of our life experiences, all of our emotions are connected in the brain. We will look at it in neurolinguistic program. We look at what are the filters that we use to see the world, right? We have our filters of our experiences, our filters of our belief systems, our filters of our values, our filters of what we learned in the unconscious mind. And all of these things come together to create our experience. So what you think is the problem probably isn't. Let's take this back to money for a minute. How many of you would like to make more money in your business, right? Yeah. How many of you find that it's harder that you hit a certain cap and then it's like, you can't get over that one cap or you get over the cap and then all of a sudden a bunch of expenses come up and so you're never really getting ahead. This could be the unconscious mind at work. Let me give you an example. Let's say you grew up and your parents worked really hard for their money. Okay. And they worked every day, they worked all the time and you learned that you had to work hard to make money. So now you are unconsciously gonna set up situations in your life where, you, where things show up that make you have to work harder. Or you may feel guilty if a bunch of money comes to you, someone just wants to pay you a bunch of money and you feel like, well, I didn't do that much for it or you feel guilty raising your rates, or you have a challenge raising your rates. And when you raise your rates, all of a sudden all your clients go away. This can be actually an energy, an unconscious mind pattern that you're bringing to the table. And you think, well, how can my mind be impacting other people? Have you ever noticed when you walk into a room and there's been a fight that you can feel that, <clears throat> right? Or you walk into a networking meeting and it's super high energy or you walk into a networking meeting and it's really like, oh my gosh, I can tell already this meeting is like, Bleh. right? We sense that as people on an unconscious. How can my mind be impacting other people? Oh, I'm. <laughs> and a friend, yours is echoey. And if you want to mute that down, you're watching the live. So. Now I forgot where it was at. Oh, okay. So we can feel that energy. And that actually also happens unconsciously. So if rich people or people that made a lot of money were bad, if we heard our parents bad mouthing bosses and, you know, oh, all those bosses, they just spend all this money and all the people that are rich, they're like this and, and talked negatively about that. There's part of us, that childish uh, part of us that still wants to make sure that we're being compliant or that we're being good or that we don't displease our mom and dad, right? Like the, the archetype inside of ourselves will actually create challenges so we don't make it to our next, to our next level. So isn't this fascinating that the way things we learn when we're young actually impact us now in our business. So what can we do about it? Emotional freedom techniques tapping is one technique. And I'm gonna drop in the chat a free class that you can all take um, it's got a full 45 minute explanation of EFT tapping. It's got a PDF of quickly how to do tapping for yourself. And it also has a six minute version of tapping. This is one tool that you can use when you're sitting there and you're procrastinated, procrastinating and you're frustrated. Really all you have to do because you're in the moment is just tap, tap, whatever points you remember, tap, whatever points you're thinking about and breathe. 
and just notice as your system starts calming down and as your mind starts finding solutions. Because we also know that what we observe becomes reality. Whatever it is that we believe becomes our reality. This is proven through quantum physics, through science as well. So if we, instead of just, let's say, say affirmations every day and set our goals, but we really, really align our beliefs to this is easy. I can do this. And we clear all the emotions. Life becomes simple. Have you ever tried to do something like change your diet or work out before and you put all of your energy and all your effort and everything into it and you're like, why am I not losing weight? Or why am I, oh, going to the gym is so hard or whatever. We have this belief that we're fighting and we use all this energy to get there. And the second we stop working out or we stop focusing on our diet, everything falls apart. How many of you have had that experience, right? Where you put a lot of energy into something and then as soon as we stop focusing on it, the habit goes away. That's because there's a belief somewhere that it needs to be hard, or there's a belief somewhere that working out sucks, that there's a belief somewhere that diets don't work, or there's a belief somewhere that we're fighting. So what we do instead is we change that belief. Because I guarantee you all the successful habits you've adopted and changed have been because you've somehow changed the belief. You found an exercise that was fun. You found a diet that you liked. You found somebody to go do something with that made it different for you, which changed the belief, which made the pattern and the behavior easier. So this is what you can do with tapping. This is the work that I help people do as well. So my challenge for you, I said, I focus a lot in relationships. My relationship work is all done with people on the unconscious mind level, because the way you do your relationships is also the way you do your business is also the way that you self-sabotage is also the beliefs that you carry about yourself. So my challenge for you is look at when you start feeling an emotion, frustrated, nervous, anxiousness, sadness, this holiday season, start playing with tapping and just notice where is it actually coming from? Does it remind you of something that happened? Is there a fear underneath there? Watch the videos and please contact me with more support. This is like my life's passion is to get this work out there, not only with emotional freedom techniques, but with everything else. Because remember, whatever you do, you're doing it in all areas of your life. And this is why it's so important to start working with the deeper aspects of yourself because when you find that love, that self-forgiveness, that passion, and you clear the old emotions in yourself, your relationships become better. Your business becomes better. Everything becomes easier. Not to say there's no challenges because challenges are meant to help us grow, but we can power through those challenges with calm, with clarity, with confidence, and with choice. So with that, I will drop the uh, free class into the box as well as my contact information again. Um, I don't know if there's time or for questions or not, but otherwise I will wrap it up and pass it back over to Audrey. Oh my goodness, guys, this was a wonderful meeting. I am so happy with everyone that showed up and all the new and beautiful faces, friends. Uh, we do this every Thursday, unless there's a holiday involved. Otherwise, yes, we go live every Thursday to go ahead and share our business. I will make sure that I tag everybody who showed up and do not forget to put all your contact information down below um, when you are tagged on the three other platforms. Guys, this is amazing. It was a lot of fun and it was uh, awesome to see some new faces here today. So the group is growing and the simple reality of what Amber is saying if you guys got friends that are business owners that want to share in a very friendly, helpful platform, this is the place to be because everybody helps each other. Everybody promotes one another and everybody helps each other with our problems. And nobody is scared to ask questions like, I'm dumb. I don't know how to do this. No such thing. We all help each other. We all promote. We all boost each other up to another level. And that's what it is 
networking is all about. And Amber's doing a, a wonderful job, and I love being on this platform. Santa, what's your TikTok follower account? And uh, your phone number, Santa. It's in um, the it's in the chat. Yeah, I just put it in the chat, Pat. I'm uh, just under twenty four thousand. Right on. We're 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 targeting that hundred thousand mark. We okay. are, we are. Morning, Santa. It's uh, it's um, exploding in a fun way. I love that so much, guys. Oh my goodness, so much is happening here also inside the chats that Facebook cannot see. It's like a good little magic trick. Everything is out in front in front of you. And there are so many moving parts in the back here that are like happening, like we need a one-to-one, -one. we need to connect. Um, so it's a, it's a wonderful group. It's a wonderful flow platform. And I love all of you guys for sharing your business because it lights up mine. So I am Amber McCarty with Meticulous Engagements. Where is my business? to know your business so I can keep help sharing it with the world, friends. All right, hey, with that, Amber, I'll call Thursday a wrap. Hang on, Amber. While Christine's on <laughs> here, she wasn't here early enough that Miss Pamela uh, Linton gave Christina a great big kudos for last Friday's. Yeah. She said, you blew it away, Christine. The the cakes and the cookies had her logos on her and the, the other <laughs> partner's logo and you blew her away, and it was absolutely amazing. And I will do the same thing, because Mrs. Claus had an idea to get some lemon cupcakes for Thanksgiving, and I phoned this young lady up on a Saturday night at like at 8 o'clock. I was on my way back from a photo shoot, and I said, hey, any chance you can get something done by tomorrow afternoon? No pressure if you can't. We'll, we'll skip it, but... She, Mrs. Claus had an idea, and this girl delivered some amazing cupcakes that blew the company away. And I'm giving big kudos to Christina because they were absolutely delicious. Thank you. I so appreciate that. And that's what I do. I, I love doing this. So I put my heart into every uh, single cake. Absolutely. I saw some of your work too, Christina. It's pretty impressive. Yes, thank you very much. You know, I like those under pressure cakes because then I have to come up with the inventive ideas. I mean, it it even makes me, I'm not used to this. So I'm not used to people, you know, other people talking about my stuff. I, I get messages, but it, it really makes me happy to be able to, you know, do what I do. And, and I, very I would love to do anybody's logos for whatever engagement they have and and, and still, see those. go ahead are we still live amber yes yeah we're still live i'm just kind of letting it play out because this is just gold and it just shows off the colorfulness of our group so yeah I just want to say thank you to Monica. She allowed me to make a happy birthday video for her son-in-law, and it was a blast. Cool. Well, folks, I got to jump off for my 11 o'clock. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you all again next uh, Thursday, same time. Absolutely. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm going to miss next Thursday, but you all have a wonderful meeting. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you in a Bye. week. Bye, I promise. Friend. Yeah, happy trails. See you Everybody have summer. a wonderful day. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Always. David I, David, I did put my number and stuff in the messaging. Ah, okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, let me get that really quick. Will, will that disappear, Amber, once she shuts?